Hi everybody, my name is George Krajewski. Thank you for watching this video. Today I want to share with you how getting a raise could actually be fatal to your career. So I walk into my boss's office one morning to ask for a raise. I'm young, probably 27 or 28 years old, bunch of little kids and a wife at home. I'm selling pest control. Tough job. Imagine crawling around in attics all day long. I'm one of about 10 or 12 salespeople at the company. I'm selling way more than anybody else though. Yet I'm averaging only a little over $2,000 a month. That's about 25 grand a year to feed a family of five. Even back then, that's not a lot of money. Now it's winter time in New England. Not a lot of bugs out that time of year, right? It's pretty cold. And so all the salespeople are getting far fewer opportunities than in the warmer weather. In fact, a lot of pest control companies in New England lay you off in the winter. I was working for this particular company because they promised me year-round work. So I think it was March, just before things are going to start picking up for the year. I remember the company gave me 20 leads the previous month, February, and I had sold 18 of them. 18 out of 20, so I'm feeling pretty confident about my value to these guys. I talked to my wife and we decide I'm going to go in the next morning and ask for a raise. So the general manager is one of these guys who's larger than life, you know. <laughs> I think his name was Dave. Always wearing sunglasses, even indoors, snakeskin cowboy boots, ever-present cigar. Seen a lot of guys like that in Texas, but not too many in New England. Anyway, his office is up at the top of this long set of stairs. I'm walking up there, less and less confident with every step, till I knock on the door. He barks at me to come in. The room has this cloud of cigar smoke hanging in the air, right? And this was before any laws against smoking in buildings or anything like that. He's sitting behind his big desk with his feet up on it. He gestures for me to come in and sit down and ask me what he can do for me. Now I've rehearsed my pitch all morning and I think it's pretty good. So I remind him how I'm his number one guy, how I sold 18 out of 20 the month before, and if I could have a raise, just a dollar an hour on my base salary, it would mean so much to me and my family. Well, you'd have thought I'd ask for one of his kidneys. His feet hit the floor with a thud. He leans forward, pretends like he's choking on his cigar, cocks his head, looks at me incredulously and says, Kid, you ain't even been here a year and you come in here asking me for money. I could find a dozen guys off the streets tomorrow who can do what you do. Do it another year and then come talk to me about a raise. Till then, get out of here and go sell something. Well, at that point, I don't know if it's more anxiety or anger, but I remember my throat getting tight as I gave him my two weeks notice and walked back out the door and down the stairs to go home. When I got in the car, it hit me that my wife was expecting I was coming home with a raise and instead I was coming home unemployed. Of course, it was through that experience that I applied for and was hired on shortly after to my first job in corporate America with New Court Financial and then on to Monster.com where I became the number one salesperson in the company just a few years later, earning over $250,000 in a single year, including my base and bonuses and commissions. So think about that for a minute. To go from making 25 grand a year to over 250 grand a year. Imagine going out and increasing your income by 10 times in just three years. But here's the coolest part. Just imagine, imagine if he had given me that raise. I'd have driven home happy that day, that's for sure. My wife and I would have probably gone out to celebrate. But I might be still selling pest control today. And I might have missed out on all the opportunities that have changed my life since then. All for a measly dollar an hour.